The days of students taking tests and having their grades compiled in reports could be coming to an end at Queen's College. Instead, Principal Dr. David Brown is proposing the introduction of portfolios as a tool for evaluating their knowledge outside of raw scores. In other words, parents, soon it will be more than marks coming home on a paper, on a report. We believe that something like a portfolio, your child can move on with a portfolio in which they are assessing their progress over a period of time and the teachers assessing it. They can learn as they go along and they have something to fall back on. You have uh, an assessment that is much deeper than to write a test, a teacher set a few tests and gives you a mark. Dr. Brown was speaking during the school's speech day and prize giving ceremony, which reviewed the academic years 2019 to 2022. The school continued to boast impressive external exam results with an average overall 90.8% pass rate in the Caribbean Secondary Examination Certificate and 98.4% for Units 1 and 2 at the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Exams level, or CAPE. However, according to Dr. Brown, the school was also able to integrate competency-based education in the form of Caribbean vocational qualifications into its offerings. In the process, becoming the island's first secondary school to be approved as a Prior Learning Assessment Recognition or PLAR Center by the TVET Council. This allows it to certify individuals who may have professional experience and knowledge but lack formal certification. This can be a, a great game changer for many people in the workforce, providing opportunities for promotion and advancement. During the period under review, we were able to certify the candidate who fit the conditions described in the occupational area of general construction. He was able to use his CDQ certification to acquire the CARICOM certificate that allows him to move and work across the region. And he is now a project manager on a major construction project in Anguilla. Dr. Brown also says the school has already had discussions with the National Housing Corporation about certifying artisans employed by the NHC. Sharika Griffith, CBC News.